What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn what the unpacking operators are in Python and how to use them. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to learn about the unpacking operators in Python today. Now, obviously, this video is primarily targeted towards beginners and new programmers, because most people that are intermediate or advanced Python programmers already know about these operators and probably use them on a regular basis. But nevertheless, I think a lot of you guys don't know all the aspects, all the details, all the use cases of these uh, unpacking operators. So maybe you can learn something new by watching this video anyways. Uh, now, let's get started with the basics. Let's say we have a list of values. Let's call this list values. And let's have one, two, three, four, five, and six as the values here. What we can do with this list is we can unpack it. So we have these six individual values in this collection in the sequence, and we can unpack the sequence into individual values. So what this basically means is, we take this list one, two, three, four, five, six, and we turn it into one, two, three, four, five, six, with the comma, properly placed, of course, uh, we unpack the value. So this here is one object, a list containing six elements. And this here are six individual elements, six integers in this case. That's what we do when we unpack a list. Um, now, how is this done in practice? Let's say we call the print statement on values. What this does is it uses the print function to print the single object values, it prints the list values. Now the print function for those of you who don't know it, you can pass multiple arguments to the list function. And it will print all the individual arguments like this, hello world and then exclamation mark. Now what happens when we uh, when we pass values is we just use one parameter one argument of the print function, we pass the object values and print prints the object values. If I unpack this using the unpacking operator, which is an asterisk, what happens is now I'm passing six individual values to the print function. So doing this is the same thing as doing this. This is exactly what happens behind the scenes when we use the unpacking operator. There you go. That's the basic idea of that. Now there is also another unpacking operator using two asterisks for dictionaries. Uh, we're going to talk about this later on in the video. But first of all, I want to show you some use cases for this one. So to keep it or, or to explain it um, in a more obvious way, let's say I have a function my sum here, and I pass the values a, b, c, and what this function returns is it returns a plus b plus c. That's the functionality of this function takes three parameters and returns their sum. Now let's say I have my other values list. Now let's say I have the values one, two, and three. So I'm going to delete this. And I want to get the sum using my sum function. So what I have to do here is I have to call my sum on either the individual values, I could say something like values zero values one and so on. Um, or I can unpack the values list into the three individual numbers by saying unpack values like this, and I get six as a result here. Because what happens here is that one, two and three are unpacked into a B and C into three individual values. This is what the function does, or this is what the operator does. Now you can also unpack in a different way without the operator, I can say value one value two, value three is equal to values. This also does unpacking uh, implicitly. So you can see if I print v one, v two, and v three, you're going to see that I get the individual values just by getting them just by assigning them to three uh, variables on the left, I get the three values on the right unpacked. Of course, this doesn't work if I have um, if I have a four here, you can see too many values to unpack. And it also doesn't work if I only have two values, because then I have not enough values to unpack. Uh, so it needs uh, it, it needs to, to match the number here. But let's say what I want to do is I want to get one stored into value one, six stored into value three, and all the rest of the values, so two to five, I want to store in v2. This again can be done using the unpacking operator. So what I can do here is I can place an asterisk here um, before v2. And what this does is it says get the first value for v1, get the last value for v3. And everything in between is a list with two, three, four and five. Um, so this is also a use case of this unpacking operator. And it can also be done with the last so I can also do something like 
uh, v1 and just v2. Then of course I don't have a v uh, v3, so I need to remove it. But you can see that this also works and it basically just gets all the remaining values. And I can also, as we saw, place more values here in the end, which is going to take away from the v2. But this is the basic idea of using it in assignments. Now you can also use the operator to combine lists. So let's say I have a list one, which has the values one, two, and three. Then I have a list two, which has the values uh, four, five, and six. And then I want to create a combined list. And what I want to do is I want to get all the values from list one, all the values from list two, and also maybe some additional values in between. So I can do something like unpack all the values from list one, place them in the list. Um, then add my own value here, test, which is a string, no problem in Python, and then unpack list two. This would result in a list that contains all the values of list one, two, and my test value in between. So this is nothing but just taking the list and writing the individual elements. So that is exactly the same as saying one, two, three as individual elements, test and then four, five, six is individual elements. It's not the same as removing the asterisk because what this would do is it would add a list into the list. So it would result in one, two, three and four, five, six as individual list objects. This is the difference here. If you unpack, you get the individual values. That's what this operator does here. Um, now what you can also do, this is not exactly, uh, this is maybe from the other side and this is something that probably even beginner programmers have encountered already, uh, you can also pass uh, parameters to a function with an asterisk. And usually this is called arcs for arguments. And this allows for a variable number of parameters. So what I can do here now is I can say result equals zero. And I can say for param in arcs result plus equals param parameter, and then return result. And this results now in a function that I can pass an arbitrary number of values to. So I can say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I can keep going and I will always get the sum. So this basically passes a variable number of arguments. So this is also done with the same asterisk operator here. All right, so that's the ordinary unpacking operator, the list unpacking or the tuple unpacking operator. We can also do the same thing with dictionaries. So let's say I have here, um, let's do this as a comment again. Let's say I have a dictionary here with A map to one and the key B map to two and the key C map to three and so on. I can unpack this as keyword arguments. Basically, when I when I put this into a function, if I have a my function here and I use a uh, double asterisk, so if I use two times the operator that we used before, like this, what this does basically is it uses them as keywords arguments. So keyword arguments. So A equals one, B equals two, C equals three, and so on. This is what we do with this unpacking here. So to test this, let's go ahead and define a function my print. This function my print um, just uh, takes the parameters, let's say name, age and job of a person. And what we can do here is we can print an F string. Name is age years old and works as a and then job. Now what I can do is I can create a dictionary, which I can call or which I can uh, set to name being equal to Mike, age being equal to 35, and job being equal to programmer. And then I can just call the my print function. And instead of passing these values manually, I can just unpack the dictionary using two asterisks. And it will do the same thing as if I say, uh, my, my print and then name equals my dict name, and then age equals my dict age and so on. This is the manual way to do it. But I can just unpack the dictionary. These are then the keyword arguments. And uh, these are the values of the arguments of the parameters. Uh, so this is how how this works. 
Uh, we can also use the same thing that we used with the lists to combine uh, lists. We can also combine dictionaries using the uh, double asterisks here. So if I say that this is my dictionary one, I can also create a dictionary two with additional information about Mike. So maybe the height of my uh, mic is 185 centimeters and the weight is let's say the weight is 85 kilos. And then I can create a combined dictionary by saying double asterisks dict one double asterisks dict two. And if I print the combined dictionary, you can see I get one dictionary with all the key value pairs. Uh, and finally, also similar to the arguments, we have a uh, special parameter that we can use in functions. Let's call this my function here. Uh, we can pass the parameter or we can have the parameter double asterisks keyword arguments, so quarks like this. And this basically allows for arbitrary uh, keyword arguments. So what I can do here, usually what you do is you check if certain arguments exist. So for example, if name in quarks.keys, then use it, otherwise not. But you can also just iterate over uh, the parameters to show which parameters were passed. So the following parameters were passed. And then we can say for key and value in keyword arguments items, print parameter name, let's use an F string parameter name is the key parameter value is the value. And then I can call this function with whatever arguments I want. So I can call this name equals Mike, I can say test equals hello, other equals world, whatever. And I can run this and you can see I get all the parameters uh, with names and values and I can use them in the function. So we have uh, an arbitrary uh, selection of keyword arguments that can be passed here to this function. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.